So, uh, hello and uh, welcome to the introductory session of the PMR ACP uh, exam preparation course. I first want to check if the audio is okay. I think it's a little bit too loud. I'll do it smaller. Please write down in the chat how it is for you. If it's uh, too loud, um, all fine for you. Okay, I I think I should make it a little bit. Use it a little bit. So okay, good. Okay, all is okay. Um, Understandability, okay, I'm not uh, a natural English speaker. Um, no echo? Okay, good. Um, English is not our mother tongue. So if you have any problems or issues, write it down in the chat below uh, if I'm not understandable so far. Good. Um, we have two participants uh, in um, this uh, webinar is held by me, uh, not as a trainer all the time, but, but uh, in most cases, and it was set up by me, and the STS is our PMI education provider and does also registrations. Let's have a look to the session, how we uh, what we want to do today in this brief introduction. Um, first, I want to introduce the training partners. Then I want to go to some PMI ACP details so that you understand what is PMI ACP and uh, what are the eligibility requirements, timeline, certification, exam information, blueprint, and test. And also and at least the webinar organization. So how we want to, to, to organize that webinar, the webinar series, as a course, uh, how will the process be, and what is the pricing. That's what, what I wanted today. If you some, have some additional uh, requests to me, what you want to know, please let me know. Go write it in the chat below. Um, so I will pick that up and um, I can, can bring it up and, and speak it out. And uh, we can discuss it. Um, yeah, I think that's so far what we want to do today. Maybe we did not need 45 minutes. Maybe we need 30. Um, I have done that webinar earlier on already several times. Um, we need about 35 minutes, 40 minutes of that for the average. Okay, um, in this session we shall learn all about PMI ACP certification including the eligibility requirements, the timeline, certification fees, exam blueprint, content outline, etc. So we did not speak about the certification, the questions and, and, and eligibility itself. For this we have another webinar where in that first session that takes 90 minutes, uh, we speak about the webinar itself and we speak about agility. So we, you can earn one PDU, but this we're doing not in this webinar. In this webinar we speak only about our product, the PMI exam preparation. Good. Um, The training partners. First, there is the Project Management Institute that has set up the PMI ACP certification. Um, it's a well known not for profit organization in the discipline of project management. The purpose of PMI is advanced project management. The PMP, the Project Management Professional Certification, and its foundation, the PM Book, uh, the Project Management Book of Knowledge, is worldwide well known for its challenges. Since 2007, the PMP certification 
ONC, ANSI, ISO, ESC, 17 or 24 accreditation for the ISO, the International Organization for Standardization. STS is already active in training and educating PMP and CAPM. Put in here my pointer here, yeah, exactly. So, educating PMP and CAPM students. STS is PMIRP, a registered education provider. And seminars are normally held in the rooms of STS training in Lausanne and, and, and Zurich are evening events. Trainings can also be held at our location, uh, at your location, depending on the number of participants in your house, right? Or at your company. RIS Engineering is a developer of these PMR exam preparation training and provides the webinar platform, all the, all the training materials and trainers, from me including. The students must be online, present in the webinars, seminar at least for a minimum of 21 hours to earn 21 PDUs, handed out by SDS training as a RRP. Uh, our intention was that you receive 21 hour PDUs from our training partner as well as a well-known PMI RAP. So, SDS is a company as a partner of us, or we the partner of SDS, and we have set up that complete training uh, as a webinar series, and also a question catalog that belongs to that webinar series, and um, uh, JIRA, uh, uh, Agile, uh, a just in agile uh, session where you can train yourself and uh, we can play games, right? So that is how it is. And now the trainer. Mm, who am I? I am the developer of the PMI ACP deliveries you would receive from us. That is the training, the webinar video recording. A catalog of more than 1,100 questions, the online or by a phone app. The phone app is uh, iPhone, Android, is currently in development. Um, from these 1,100 questions, you can get uh, from us uh, online. Uh, about 600 questions are directly referenced to the PMI ACP reference books. So we have a high number of questions direct reference to the books that you see foundation for PMI ACP. Then we have our Excel sheets for reuse in your business area, as well as we set up uh, a training session in Atlassian Agile. So it's a Jira-like tool where you can uh, train project management situation, you can get in metrics and else, and you have a completely set up for uh, sample project. My project management experience began in 1988 and was already agile in the early um, mid-90s by intuition. Right? It was funny to understand at that time uh, that agile software development, how we did by scope needs, got a name and that was Scrum or XP, Extreme Programming. Good. That is, who am I? Um, I'm an electrical engineer. I was very experienced in computer science. So after my university time, I directly stepped into computing uh, micro, with microcontrollers and microprocessors and uh, software and development. And uh, the combination from electronics, software, microcomputer, microcontroller, and my background as electrical engineer was at that time uh, uh, right stuffed and, and, and was uh, what, what the market needs, and I did it. So at least I did C++ and Java mission critical application development, also for aerospace industry. Um, later on, agile software development, agile requirements engineering that I did most, more than project management. So in the Agile project management area, I like more to be the requirements engineer and have good requirements instead of managing a team. 
uh, but also have project management experience uh, much and so far. But that the crime engineering was the things I did most of my life. Right. Good. Uh, that is my background. So what what is that? What you have to to bring yourself? Um, what are the requirements yourself uh, have to bring to fulfill the eligibility requirements? The eligibility criteria for the ACP certification um, we can summarize as follows: You need an educational background. Um, that must be a secondary degree, a high school diploma, or a CA degree, or higher. Next. You must have a general project management experience. You must have at least 2,000 hours or 12 months of experience on working on project teams uh, in the last past five years. Note that these 12 months may or may not have been spent on projects following traditional or agile methodologies. Please have, to timeline, have no timeline overlap with so declared general project management and agile project management framework experience. So no overlap with projects where, that you register here and you register in the agile project experience area. Uh, agile project management experience in for this uh, registration, um, you must have at least 1,500 hours or eight, of, or eight months of experience on working on agile methodologies in the past three years. This could be any known agile methodologies, including Scrum, Extreme Programming, DSDM, FDD, and else. So. However, you have worked in a project that has to do with agile project management. Uh, you have to uh, declare this, this number of hours, and it should be in the last three years. And you should not have an overlap with the general project management experience. You, the overlap can be inside the project. So that means if you have a large project over maybe eight years, it has general project management experience part and has an agile project management experience part. Flip it into two different things, but have no timely overlap. Right? So make the project smaller as part project and declare it as that, and uh, but have no timely overlap between these both. That's important. And you must, and, and that is why we here are. Uh, an active training. Um, you must have undergone at least 21 hours of education on agile project management topics. Means that not a full attendance in the webinar in our webinar stream is needed, but 21 hours sit in the webinar is a must. That is the minimum requirement, and it's recommended to self-study the missing webinars. Uh, we have webinar recordings. Uh, we have. We will see. Our webinar consists of 30 sessions, that means 30 hours, and a part of that 21, there you must have been full attended in, 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 the, in the webinar. Um, so then we, we can, give, uh, we can, we can uh, give you the 21 PDUs for it. Um, watching the videos is not liberal for application. Um, that means uh, watching the video did not give you any PDUs. So it must be an active training. Uh, the training is also discussion. Uh, you can raise your hands in the training, not now in the webinar, but later in the training. You can raise your hands, you can pick out questions, and we can directly interact. Um, typically, these webinars will hold in one hour sessions. That meant the maximum time you have spent several times a week is one hour per day. Uh, and you can uh, uh, visit the webinar from, with all the devices, with a desktop computer, with our, our iPhone, iPad, uh, Android phones, and else. So that's, that's possible. Understand that uh, the PMI 
uh, ACP is both uh, competency-based, ba competency uh, meaning that the person has a competency to perform a certain function, as well as a knowledge-based training, meaning that the person's knowledge to perform a certain function has to be tested. The examination that you require to pass and the requirement for agile project management training try to ensure the knowledge, but the competency can only be proven by actual performing the role that means experienced in projects. That's the reason why these, why we got these eligibility requirements here in case, right? This explains the requirements for project management and agile experience. The fact is that if both knowledge and competency based enhances its value in the market, just like the PMP uh, certifications, e.g. The, the PMP certification also has its market value, and we think that PMI ACP regards the same. Good. Uh, any questions to these eligibility requirements? No, it seems not. Okay. Then we go to the timeline. Um, once you fill up and submit the application online, the application is assessed for completeness. That's the application. This process takes ten up to ten business days. So PMI will will uh, assess that application inside of ten business days. Right. So after the assessment is complete, you are able to make payments to finalize the application. Right. After the payment is made, the application may be selected for audit. Not all applications may be audited, but a fraction of applications are. So when you're going to the audit here, then you have to calculate this out also. Anyway, I have not seen anyone who has to be audited, but it can be. If your application does not get selected for audit, you basically get an email giving clear instruction on how to pass the audit um, and what evidences are required. So you get clear instructions how the audit is running and what you have to provide um, when you got selected for audit. So the material you have to, I have no experience with that, but, but it's, uh, it's written, the material you have to provide here is original material. When you get selected for audit, you have to provide the original material. That means maybe signed uh, signed attendance in projects and else from project managers and, 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 and so on. Um, so that takes time and is difficult. Um, so in your complete timeline, you have to, to put it into account that if that happens, that takes some weeks um, to get that audit done. If the audit is not successful, there is a refund policy to receive you $200 back from the payment. This is written in the PMI ACP handbook. Important, if you make a schedule for the certification process, do make allowances for the possibility of being audited and the time it takes to complete the audit process. We have no experience with us uh, because we have the case, but uh, calculate about six to eight weeks the audit will take place. Right? After you complete the audit process, process if your application was not, uh, was not selected, or if the application was not selected for the audit, so if you have done this here, or you are not selected for audit. You get an information and email that says that you are now illegal for, to appear for the examination. This exhibit is valid for a period of one year. So you have a one year time here to doing your 
certification uh, to exam, right? So you have to search for computer-based training and the exam date early. So the test center can be full booked. Um, that means uh, when you are in that position here, so you are illegal, then try to get um, a computer test center at a certain time and uh, then go to the examination and pass it. So pass the exam. Um, typically here in our area, we since computer-based tests and uh, yeah, settled test center in Switzerland, so in Germany, all the countries, and it makes sense. We can help you if, if you want to find a test center, but think about also the test center can be full booked and uh, inside one month you did not get any any schedule and uh, can't be scheduled and so do it early. Well, what I did was I, I learned half a year, I got that here, I come out, they say me okay, you are legal and uh, what I'm, then I began to learn and study and after half a year I found out okay I can go to the exam and then I found a test center and inside a month I have been there and uh, that was no problem. Think about that also you plan for one month uh, inside one, the one year that there is a space for the test center. Good. Um, any questions uh, to that process? The process partly think is not so nice readable. That diagram uh, maybe with your with your desktop. I don't know or with the pad um, because maybe it's a little bit small and small letters. But uh, yeah, okay. Now we come to the examination fees. Um, what does this cost? I had talked about that when you are selected for audit and you could not pass the audit because uh, PMI did not believe you have experience in agile uh, project management or what else, um, you get $200 back. Um, what are the costs? The fees for computer-based training are $435 for members and $495 for non-members. They are also Euro prices. You have to look in the PMICP handbook. You will find also the Euro prices. I have only published the dollar prices. I do remember that the membership for one year costs $129 plus a one-time $10 joining fee. This is $139 in all. So it makes sense to think about getting a PMI member if you are not. And because we are only we have only two participants, you can write down in the chat please are you a certification that are you a PMI member? Um, what is a, a current certific a PMI certification you had already? And also please write down what is your need to uh, PMI ACP, is there a need or your wish or uh, based on, 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 on upcoming agile methodologies in the company maybe you, you are interested in and want to be certified um, and uh, so please write it down in the chat below uh, uh, about PMI status and about your intention uh, and your motivation to go to PMI CP. I normally I doing surveys. I have a lot of service, a uh, lot of questions to you normally, but we are only two people in the in the audience, so it makes no sense to to make that formalized at the moment. So membership. Um, you know, of course, PMI membership does provide some additional benefits. It includes the ability to freely download the PMI standards, access to PMI online library subscriptions, uh, PMI publications, um, like the PM network, 
uh, discounts to PMI events. That is uh, very interesting. PMI events are very good network events and very informal and, and informative and, and uh, events with good with good speakers. Um, and uh, of conferences also we have virtual conferences, so one day virtual conferences um, with a lot of speakers, a lot of good information. Uh, very, very PMI in my understanding is uh, is worth the value, um, but yeah, it uh, depends on you. You have no membership, okay? Yeah, that though you have to, when you calculate uh, the one hundred twenty nine plus ten dollars, one hundred thirty nine dollar for the membership and the price for the for the training for the computer based training. So if you re-examination re -exam re -exam fee, so if you need to re-examinate, uh, you fail the first attempt, uh, $335 for members and $395 for non-members is the pay. Um, so not passing the exam successful at this price. Um, so it makes sense to prepare yourself as best as you can to pass the uh, certification on the first attempt, right, on the first step. And uh, um, so that, that is all about PMI requests on, 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 on prices and fees. Um, when, you, when you decide for PMI ACP certification, then in, in my understanding it makes sense because of the prices here also to get PMI member and to, to have it as a, as a, a, um, a good certification, a good training, a good uh, asset for your business career, and that takes the life long, and it makes sense to be also then a PMI member over the time, and uh, and. Uh, uh, Having trainings and 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 and, and uh, get that certification uh, still as an asset over the time and and update it. So that that makes sense in my understanding. And uh, we have an um, fees for the renewal and to, to renew the renewal is. When you when you are a member, it's cheaper. If you are not a member, then it's more expensive. So you have to do all these things in calculation, right? Like all PMI certifications, the PMI ACP certification is valid for a period of three years, and then it has to be renewed. The renewal process for PMI ACP comprises the accumulating 30 profession development units (PDUs) during a three-year validity period. And submitting the renewal fees of sixty dollars for members and one hundred dollars for non-members. Again, think about the PMI membership. Oh, if PMI ACP certification is an asset for you, so it takes a lot of work. It it is not easy. It's difficult, and uh, then it makes sense to get a member in PMI and keep it as an asset and doing the three years renewal all the time and that for reduced price. In summary, then PMI CP is a benefit for you. Okay, you think you have not enough Agile experience to this certification? Um, yeah, maybe we have to speak about um, what 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 are your current projects and what we can do to make that better? Um, I know from some people who have not so much agile experience and they got it, so was not selected for audit and uh, passed it without any problems. So that's a try. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but but we can speak about uh, later on. You can. Uh, you can uh, send me um, an email. We can talk. Maybe it's better. 
I give you both informations. My email is ritz at ritzeng.com uh, and my phone number is plus 41 for Switzerland, 76 99720. Um, so maybe you have to speak about um, uh, about if it's okay or not, um, and what and how what what you can do to declare it as agile. So um, maybe it's also not needed software development. You can also have agile product development and else. So it's not only based on software. So the, the most agile methodologies or software is the main topic that we have also as agile uh, business areas. That means product management and else. Organization management can also be agile. Different things uh, where agility is today on place. It's not only software. We have we speak so many about agile software development and also PMI did it. But I think at the moment that spreads out in all other areas of the business. That is organization, that is product, that is software, and uh, that is also science and, and else. So that has something to do with how to declare it and, and make it meaningful that it is agile and uh, has followed agile methodologies at least. Right. So, um, So if you uh, had other PMI credentials, that is not the case here, then the certification renewal of all certifications are combined. So if you had also a PMP and have 60 PDUs, it's needed for the PMP, then your 30 PM, uh, PDUs for PMI ACP are already included. So right, that is so that it's combined. Um, so not to discuss here more because you are only you are not have no PMPs. Um, if you do skip the renewal process, the certification goes into suspended state for one year, and if not renewed at this time period, it will expire, and you will not be able to claim certified status again. Oh, this is that process here. Um, so you lost your certification. Um, makes no sense um, because it's expensive to get it. It takes a lot of time and a lot of, of investment of your person, personally, and uh, it makes no sense to lose the certification. Right? So today in PMI we have so easy one day uh, virtual conferences. We have so many, in the Switzerland chapters, well, in Germany and in the other countries, we have so many events where you can go to, where you're doing a good networking or for your business career and for a job and else. So do that regularly and you have no problems to get the 30 PDUs. That normally 20 events in three years and that's not so difficult. Um, yeah. yeah, I have talked, yeah, exactly, yeah. Maybe you go to the PMI website and, and have a look to the events here that <coughs> are in your chapter and to the events you have on on uh, on, uh, on on virtual conferences uh, worldwide and there are a lot of. The virtual conferences come up more and more and getting more and more easy with virtual conferences to earn your PDUs. That's the six PDUs you can earn over a virtual conference that starts at three o'clock in the afternoon and goes to ten o'clock in the midnight here from Switzerland's uh, time zone. And yeah, it's a six presentation, so you get six PDUs for each presentation one. It's so easy to earn and you do it, you can do it several times a year and you have your 30 PDUs without any problems. Then um, let's have a look to uh, other information. So oh, why did oh, we did? Yeah. So um, 
The, the PMI ACP examination, uh, examination consists of 120 multiple choice questions, which have to be answered in three hours. And of these 120 questions, 20 are experimental questions, and remaining and the remaining 100 actually counts towards the final score. Uh, do remember so that you cannot identify which of the 120 questions are experimental. So for all intents and purposes, you need to attempt of all of them with equal uh, amount of attention. Right? The allocation of questions is based on seven domains. I've placed the domains here, but um, maybe you can't read it. The I have to. Oh, I have to. Next time I have to make that better. That's a little bit difficult here. The first is agile principles and mindset. It uh, has a percentage of 16 percent. Next is value-driven delivery, 20 percent. Team performance, 16 percent. Adaptive planning, 12 percent. Problem detection and resolution. 10% um, con uh, continuous improvement um, product uh, 9% right and together it's 100% and uh, we have two areas that is uh, uh, tools and techniques and knowledge and skills so, and that is here is a complete blueprint um, you'll find it also in the PMI SAP examination content outline document and that's what I want to load now. Content outline document, yes. This document you can download at PMI, and there you get the information. I stepped through the document here. Here we have the domains. And oh, mm -hmm. So, this is the percentage on the test. And then an overview of domains and tasks. So, what is the content of these domains? And then <clears throat> it is then dig deep to details. And uh, the different domains have different tasks. This task is for you to organize yourself a little bit, <clears throat> what you have to learn. And we cover that all in our 30 hours webinar. So we go through, through all of them. And uh, yeah, this is these are all the domains, done tools and techniques, all these things. Uh, are also in our blueprint of the webinars and you have then the knowledge and skills and the role delineation study that is to read so far. Good. Um, this is about the blueprint um, and about the content. So that is what we have to learn, right? Um, typically, the practical, technical oriented participants have typically no, <clears throat> are typically more familiar with agile tools and techniques. So, with these topics here, <clears throat> and are not so familiar with the knowledge and skills area. So that are the soft skills more. That is how, more how to get team performance. To get a team self organized, self motivating, um, all these soft skills things. Um, technical oriented people have no problem with these uh, parts of the blueprint, but more with these parts. So you need to understand people, to do active listening, uh, uh, understand what the other ones um, have your. Um, Emotional intelligence, mindsets are uh, sharpened and else. That is more the uh, knowledge and skill area, and the other is more tools and techniques. That are processes, these are uh, how to calculate some metrics and else. That, that is more the tools and techniques areas, 
and the other is more how to how to have a team healthy how to work together how we organize communication and in all these things how we understand detect our problems um, how we avoid conflicts and else So we have some help for you to doing this whole stuff, and that is the questions catalog. The question catalog is included in the webinar. That is a big help for all of you. Yeah, for help, uh, for, for all of you, uh, it's a big helper. Um, for yeah, you can't read it. I know. Um, what I can do is I can make that document available for download um, in EduDip. Then I also can send it to you as an email if you leave it to me. Um, I can, also can, can make that complete presentation down, uh, send you afterwards. Um, the, we, we provided, um, we provide, um, our question catalog that is online available and would be available available as an application on iOS, that means Apple and Android, with 1,100 questions. And 600 questions directly refer to the reference books. So this is very helpful. And each session in the webinar series, we refer, have the directly reference to questions that belong exactly to these this session. So you, that's a very, very good help um, in learning as well as sharpen your senses of uh, what PMI wants to get for the certification. So the question catalog is essential for your exam preparation and uh, also the soft skills needed, right? So the questions are formulated in a way of how PMI also will formulate the questions. We have already talked about that. The uh, the exam self knowledge and skill uh, levels. Um, we have also talked about that. Do not go to the details here. So. The Agile Manifesto um, was the foundation for agility in software development first and now also in product development and else. And a part of these, as here Mark three guys, have written a very substantial books. Um, these are the 12 reference books for the PMI ICP. These books are very substantial uh, and is the foundation for the PMI SCP. And all the questions in the exam, as well as the question in our catalog, came out of these books. So this 5,500 pages of material. Uh, you have to to read normally, to understand normally, uh, to pass the exam. And we put that in the relevant, most relevant things in questions and also in our city, our webinar. So we have 10 simulations on, on, uh, on, uh, on, on uh, realistic simulation, simul webinar, uh, sim uh, exam simulations provided. And um, we see XAM tool of STS. So that's a very, very good, big help for your training. There's also a book of Mike Griffin uh, that is also given to you. Uh, this book helps much in, in, in reading. It's a 250 pages book, but Mike Griffin is one of the guys who has defined that certification and has written a well-known well book. Um, 
uh, how to, to pass the exam and gives a lot of tips in the book. How is our lesson structure? Uh, we have 16 lessons. A lesson is not a session. A lesson is a topic. And the session then is the realization in, in webinars. So we have 30 webinars and we have 16 sessions. I have 16 lessons. So we have 30 sessions. Each session one session is one hour. And we have covered 16, these are covered in, in 16 lessons. The last lesson is only playing a project game with tools. So we have that Excel sheet and we have the Atlassian Agile as a tool. So the, there you get trained in, in, in metrics, in burn down chart, in, 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 in organization of projects and else. Right? We do it uh, with a tool and you can do it yourself. So it's, uh, you are invited here then also uh, have you uh, play with it and we do it together. Good. Um, process steps. Um, we think about 5 to 15 students. That's one stream. Uh, each stream lasts 10 to 11 weeks. So that means three webinars per week. Um, in the first session, we organize the setup. So we organize at which days we're doing that. So you define yourself, so that means a class, define self on which days in the week you want to get your webinars. Right? So. That's, that's important. So three webinars per week, 10 weeks, more or less 11 weeks. And you are, we are in a class organization. You get known who is in the class and you can communicate and you can learn together if you want. There is also a forum where you can exchange questions and the other can pick it up and uh, you can talk together, you can make video chats and else, or you can sit together, if, if possible. That's about the question catalog. There's a question, four multiple choice question answers, and if you are correct, then, we, then it goes to the next question. If you are wrong, to get the explanation. And here you can formulate to us um, where you need help and, and uh, misunderstanding things and else. Class organization, schedule is a class decision, right? So after each session, you get a recording from that session. That means you're getting 30 recordings of one hour complete one hour, complete recorded. Right? So if you cannot attend all the missing ones you get as a video recording. Right? We come also to the prices. One webinar class that is 30 sessions in 16 lessons is 2004. That's what STS wants to get. And you can have also as a seminar three days at STS in Lausanne or Zurich for 2750. You can combine seminar and webinar for 2900. You can all, if you have, are not interested in the webinars and seminars, you can buy or book the question catalog self to learn, to learn yourself, but you're getting trained differently. Or you can say, okay, I don't want all the 30 sessions. I want only some of them. And you can book each session for 95. 
that is there are the prices we have for these uh, webinars on PMI ACP and um, yeah now it's up to you a little bit to uh, uh, register yourself if you're interested in um, or I have set it up a complete webinar series here for these introductions you can also step again to an introduction uh, there will be also one uh, series of webinars where you can earn one PDU that is 90 minutes so where we I speak about that what I have talked now but additional we speak about agility what it meant so that is 45 minutes on agility and 45 minutes on the exam preparation webinar self so you have 50% that what you heard already and 50% but maybe it always is different and uh, you have 45 uh, minutes on on 50% on on you listen about agility what about what it meant um, you have questions up to now no um, please was everything clear to you or something to improve from our side it's the first time I held very interesting okay it's the first time I held this webinar again uh, there was a pause of more than a year or not, not, not complete um, three quarter of a year and of course I'm not so fluent partly um, as it was planned but interesting okay yeah so I wish you a nice weekend there's no questions so uh, yeah I I am very interested in uh, that you join to the webinar series if you want uh, and if you want to general discuss with me about uh, PIMA ACP certification the asset for your career and else uh, what it meant um, yeah call me I give you my phone number it's a mobile number in Switzerland uh, I have also uh, a Skype possibility that is for Skype and of course my mobile number is FaceTime right so you can make also video conferences speak about video in Skype and FaceTime is my mobile number I have given already um, so that's what I can provide um, and you can download that video uh, at EduDip when you go to the to the this webinar series where I make the brief introduction you can go um, tomorrow maybe it will be there or today in the afternoon then it's there and you can download that video right. okay yeah wish you a nice weekend and uh, myself a little bit and uh, yeah have a nice time bye bye